Let's pack today's lunchbox, my friends and followers. So a couple of weeks ago, I was in Texas and at the airport, I stopped at this barbecue place where I got me a brisket and sausage sandwich. And when I posted the sandwich, you guys were like, you need to recreate it. So today we're gonna try to recreate it. I know it's not Texas barbecue, but it's Nana Joe's barbecue. We're gonna begin by rubbing some sriracha onto our brisket as a binder. Then we add our favorite rub to the brisket, stick it in the smoker for about six hours. Every hour or so, I would go in there and spritz it with some apple juice. I also wrapped it in some butcher paper and and then left it in there what felt forever. Once the temperature of our brisket hits 200 degrees, I let this rest for another three hours before I start cutting it. Then we cut our sausage, butter up our buns, make sure they're nice and crispy, add some barbecue all over those buns. Then we add our brisket and our sausage, a little bit of more barbecue. Then we top it off with our top bun, wrap it into some parchment paper, and then I put it in the box. Now when I bought mine, they had the pickles and the onions on the side, so I'm trying to give them the same experience, so they're getting it on the side also. We also got some nice and crispy 